one common problem is coming up with what to say on different location and service pages. When a business has multiple locations or they want to serve multiple areas, it can be difficult to not just basically clone pages and swap out the city names because it's just hard to come up with new content for every single one. But it is at the same time very important to do that. Each page does need to be unique because we want to avoid Google penalties, but we also do not want to turn off any of our site visitors as well. So let me give you an example of this. This business has created a page for lawn mowing in Centerville, Virginia. You can see here that their URL has lawn mowing in Centerville VA as part of their URL. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will see here in the footer that they have several service areas listed. Lawn mowing in Alexandria, lawn mowing in Annandale, lawn mowing in Burke, in Centerville, Chantilly, and so on. There are many, many different pages and areas here. So if I click on Alexandria, I will see it has the same image. It says, beloved by their clients, NV service group, blah, blah, blah. We sharpen the blades of our mowers each day. Our crew is highly trained and certified. Now, let me go back to the Centerville page here for a second. Again, same image, beloved by their clients, MB Service Group, blah, blah, blah. Furthermore, we keep the blades, our mowers sharp. That doesn't even make sense. Uh, each member of our team is highly trained and certified. So as you can see, it looks like they are slightly rewriting each page. But that's just a, a couple of the pages. Let's see here. Let's look at another one. Lawn Mowing in Burke. Again, same image. NB Service Group is the premier lawn mowing solution in Burke. To make sure that your grass receives the best cut possible, we sharpen our lawn mowing blades every day. Each member of our team is highly trained and certified. So as you can see, these are the same pages for each and every city. This is an exact example of what you do not want to do. Honestly, I'm surprised that Google hasn't penalized them for this yet, but just because you see this doesn't mean that this is a tactic that works. This may be that they just have not been penalized yet. Remember, just because you're seeing this here, there are a lot of examples that you are not going to see because they are already penalized and they've been removed from Google. So don't take after something like this just because you see it. This also isn't very visitor friendly for them either. So this is really just something you wanna stay away from. We want to create unique pages. And the way that we can do this is both using on-page optimization as we'll get to here shortly, and also through the content that you write on each page. But that can be a little bit easier said than done. So let me give you some examples. For on-page optimization, we'll get into the specifics here as I mentioned in another section. But on-page factors can include your title tags, your description tags, the actual name of your page. If you create header tags using the H1 or H2 headers, for example, you see this text here is much larger. This may be included in an H1 tag that gives Google an idea of what the page is about. That's where you can change up some of your keywords and what you say. You can also take a look at the links that are included in each page. This one here doesn't have any links going in or out. You can include links that point out to other pages on your site as they relate to this particular city. You can also consider who you link out to. So if you are talking about, let's just say this particular page here is uh, lawn mowing in Burke. If they're targeting Burke, what they could do is link to a government website or a charity that's within uh, Burke that they support. Or if uh, there's another blog that talks about services in, in Burke or something that is relevant to Burke in general or to their services in general, they can link out to. That also helps build some authority. So that's one way that you can switch it up between different cities as well. So all of those are on-page optimization. Now for the content, we can of course write about the services or the products that we have. So if you're serving a particular area, you write about the service, that's great. But what about switching it up and putting in a case study about your specific city, about the target city you're working with? This can keep the visitor more engaged and it can still end with them contacting the business.
You can also write about why the business chose to serve this particular location or why they like serving this particular location. For the Live Long and Prosper business that I'm working with right now, they are only serving the Centerville area. So they can talk about why they only serve that area. They actually reside within Centerville, so it's very important to them. And that's definitely something that they could talk about. And it can also drive traffic to their site. But if they worked... With Centerville, they could talk about how that's their hometown, they want to keep it looking nice, and so on. And then if they chose to branch out to the next neighboring city, Chantilly, for example, they could switch up the context because that's not their home, so they wouldn't write the same information. Now, photos and videos are also something that you can include, and they can be different for each page. You can optimize them differently, as we'll talk about in the upcoming section. But you can also use this to tie into your area, whether this is photos and videos of your actual work or photos and videos of other things that are going on in town that you can highlight and tie into your service. You'll also be able to include testimonials or reviews or some sort of social proof if you are working with customers in specific areas. Uh, just having testimonials from that particular area can help build a lot of trust as well and help keep it unique. If you do other things like you want to do a giveaway or you want to do a raffle, you can also include that information for that specific target area. And even it, when we looked at our contact page where we include our address and we include a map, you can include the unique contact information for that particular location as well if it's something different or you can always just include a map. So. These are just a handful of ideas. You certainly don't have to use all of these ideas for each page, but this gives you an idea of how you can switch it up and not resort to using one of these more spammy tactics that this website is currently using.